Hello everyone, watchOS 6 is just a few hours away. We are going to take a look at which features and changes are coming. Also, watch until the end to know how to get your hands on watchOS 6. But before we do, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and to stay updated with all these updates. Starting with the App Store. Of course there is an App Store, but not a dedicated one. In watchOS 6, we should be seeing a fully dedicated App Store coming to your Apple Watch, where you will be able to install slash uninstall apps right from your watch. This is a huge update. New third-party apps are coming as well as new first-party apps made by Apple. We should see voice memos to record some things right from your wrist, the calculator app to calculate. Of course, there have been already third-party apps, but finally, now there will be one by Apple. Another one is the Apple Books app. It should be in the form of audiobooks. On top of all of these three, there will be two new apps relating to health. One of them should be the Dose app, which will, in simple terms, remind you when to take your pills or medicine and help you set reminders for specific times and dates. Another one of them should be the Cycles app, which is for tracking of menstrual cycles. It's clear that Apple wants to take care of health and do a bunch of things around that. Moving on, there will be some really cool functionality coming that will extend your watch to other devices, mainly the Mac. Your Apple Watch will be able to authenticate your Mac in some places where Touch ID is required. With watchOS 6, you might be able to unlock your computer by doing something on your Apple Watch or just by coming close to it. The next thing is Memoji and Animoji stickers that are supposed to be coming to the watch. I don't really use Animoji or Memoji, but I would like to know if you use them in the comments down below. Apple is adding these to the messages, but I still don't know what to think about this. Of course, no watchOS would be complete without new watch faces and new complications. We have no idea how the watch faces will look, but what we have an idea about is how dark mode will look on iOS 13. You can click here to watch all about that. You will most likely be able to set gradients, extra large, which will have large numbers, California, which mixes Roman and Arabic numerals. We should also be seeing an update to solar analog. And finally, the infograph should come with the bigger complication views. There are some new complications for rain data, external noise, which will tell you if your environment is too loud, hearing aid battery life, and how far you are into an audiobook. Now, how can you get iOS 6? You've been waiting for this. WatchOS 6 Beta 1 is going to be released today around 12 to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only safe and official way to get WatchOS 6 is through Apple's developer program, which is $99 per year. However, there are other ways if you do some research. However, they're not recommended. As of now, there is no public free Apple WatchOS beta program, but it might come. If you don't want the beta, it will be out in September for everyone. Well, this is it for WatchOS 6. It won't be as big of an update compared to iOS 13. Let me know what you are most looking forward to in the comments down below. We also previously looked at how iOS 13 might look in a similar way to the WatchOS 6. If you're interested, click right here. Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and to stay updated with all the videos on these topics. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!